What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to restart my Knights of St. John campaign. So to kind of give you guys a brief reminder of what's happened so far, my initial attack onto the North African coast went really badly and the Ottomans just choked us out before we could do anything effective. Uh, my initial strategy for my second time was to try and take over Madrid, but relations with Spain and France caused problems that meant that wasn't easy to do, so I tried to pick off an isolated valuable region like Rome. But then I ended up at war with the entire Italian peninsula, Britain and Spain. And it's just, it, it was too much. <laughs> so I'm going to try and restart and try and redo my Spanish strategy again. And I suspect there could be a chance that if that fails once more, um, I may have to just knock the campaign difficulty down a bit. Um, because I'd like, to finish, I'd like to actually do this campaign, but it's been a real ball ache so far. So let's try again. <laughs> let's let's try and see if my see if we can do something a bit more effective. So get you guys back in, destroy the shipyard, upgrade the governor's barracks, build the roads. Oh, and I should really have checked how how I organised all my ministers. Treasury justice. You went to be my justice minister. You, I, I think you went to my to be the army. Even though, because you're fairly good at basically everything. This guy's good for treasury, but then again, so is the guy I've already got. So he's. Yeah, well, then again, this one. Then again, this guy's. He's a navy guy, but it's not better than the navy guy I've got. He's good for justice, but not better than the guy I've got for justice. But I'm pretty sure you're at five stars base, you're going to be good for the army. Sweet. And then let's uh, recruit two regiments of horses. And then let's build up our war chest, because my plan is to declare on New Spain, which you see New Spain originally, if I do it quick enough if I do it quick enough, New Spain will be I can declare war on Spain and New Spain, but not France, so in the Med I'll only really have really really annoyed one major power a major power who I will have hopefully have a knife to their, to their throat right off the bat well, not right off the bat, but, you know, fairly quickly. And then, I, then if I can take Gibraltar... I mean, yes. Um, then if I can take Gibraltar, then that'll be my way of blocking the Brits attacking me from the... with their fleet. Um, yeah, that's just one cavalry unit's fine. All the usual stuff will have happened. Everyone's at war. Still not allied yet. Because I do need to build up quite a big army if I'm going to be attacking the Spanish capital. Um, if they have no defences, then I will wait. If they don't have defences, I may attack. But that could still be problematic because I'll probably have lots of artillery, cavalry and pikes. So even if I go cavalry heavy, they'll still be able to defeat that. Probably get another unit, really. Can't really do anything. I need to keep bashing in turn for now. Until I get the new building, which lets me build line infantry. Then I just need to spam out line infantry and attack New Spain. So I need to. I want to keep checking that they're not allies yet. Good. So we've got our trade port. So let's try court Britain with trade because they are friendly. And we probably also want to try and court Venice because they were frustrating as well. Good. So you've got 1500 a turn, still two turns. 
the hope is <laughs> the hope is that potentially a trade trade agreement with Britain will make them less likely to attack me. Didn't work last time, but maybe the random number generating will work this time. Because the other alternative was attacking Lisbon, but Spain would be better. And turn again. <laughs> we want to do this as quickly as possible. <laughs> we want to just build a, a just to build a, a big army and declare on Spain, and hopefully land in an open port and march our troops straight up to Madrid if you take them out you've gutted most of their power and we can stabilize spain we've got a school we'll be, things will be going much better we'll have loads of ports so madrid will be worth a lot of money we'll be able to build we won't have to choose between military we won't have to choose between um <laughs> trade and trade and armies so just build a bunch of troops and pff, Got some basic troops. That's what we need, really. Um, just keep check. Oh, that's Venice. Thank God, my heart jumped for a minute. So, New Spain are no longer protectorates, but they're allies of Spain. There may be an argument to declare war with declare war on them earlier rather than later, so you don't get that France ally problem. But at the same time, I don't want to declare on them and then they blockade me. Because then I've got nothing. <laughs> I have no navies to save me and my army would be trapped on Malta forever. I can only build so much. So much infantry a turn. See, so I can recruit two units a turn. Even if I recruit militia, I don't think that gets any better. I think two units per turn is my absolute max. And the hope would be... Well, ideally, I could land an army in Spain. Actually, I need to check if my ships can even get there in one turn. Otherwise, that's going to be a bloodbath. I'm pretty sure I can get to Cartagena. Yeah, we can get... Good. We can get to Cartagena. Is that Cartagena? Yeah, it's Cartagena. Good. Okay, I think... So we're all recruiting four more men. I think if we make it six, so three more turns, and that'll be it. Although, obviously, I really dislike Britain <laughs> going to take an army. Sending their navy to go pick up an army. That's obviously really lame. In three turns, we declare on um, New Spain. But even then, even then, Spain might not. Well, Spain will probably back them. They're protect. They're not protectorates. They're allies anymore. They're now allied with Genoa, which adds another level of complexity. But we can't not do it. That's the problem. So here comes the Royal Navy, the Royal Navy with a full stack. I mean, if that's coming straight for me, then then this campaign's already dead. Because <laughs> chances are, if I fight them and win by the time I actually push them off my capital, then I'll probably be better off abandoning Malta and making Madrid my new capital. Weirdly. Because Madrid's much harder to block. To block from trade entirely. And one thing we can't do... Well, we can do. We can attack the port when the Barbary states are occupying it. But I'd much rather not do that. 
Okay, don't do anything. Check diplomacy again. <laughs> if they want to invade me... Oh, that's an interesting question. Obviously, if they take my capital, the game's over. But if I can successfully transport an army away from my capital, take Madrid, then they can take Malta, as far as I'm concerned, because I'll have Madrid, and I'll still be alive. I mean, the campaign would then be fundamentally different, but, like, how am I supposed to fight that? Like, they've immediately gone for me. I've tried to be as quick as possible in trying to get a force to attack Spain. And Britain has already sent a full fleet and an army against me. Like, <laughs> what do you do? Hopefully, they mess around like they did previously. just do it in this because Spain is going to be allied with France France and Venice so if we declare on new Spain then there's a risk we'll be at war with Genoa but to be honest <laughs> we're already boned as it is so good they've called in both their allies we're not at war with Britain take let's put the light galley outside the port take everyone we got get them aboard ship get to Cartagena hopefully yes deploy your army Walk right past this unit. Straight from, straight for their capital. And then let's get our ship back in, back in port. And then let's go. I was gonna say let's cancel recruiting anything here. We'll have a turn. We'll get a turn from. Oh, I don't know. Or do I do something? No, actually, we'll go. We're gonna go bankrupt. We are still trading. Peace of Genoa? No. Nope. Let's see if Britain goes for it. What well, I'm most vulnerable. Let's see if Britain does it. <laughs> yeah, there they go. So they've blockaded my port, so I have no trade. The navy is broken. This is going to be a desperate, desperate assault onto onto Madrid <laughs> they got they'll get oh, no to be honest can I even assault them because that's a full garrison there there goes our navy so the Spain tactic doesn't work Unless I march to Portugal. Okay, Genoa's coming to clean out the rest. <laughs> Barbary states are having their wicked way. So they've stopped blockading us temporarily. Our income is low, naturally. Why am I going to mean to go to the Americas? Servo vostro, signore. Mio sire, sono in trappola. I mean, I'm not going to attack that. <laughs> no way. But I will sit outside. But then again, I can't really. Okay. Tax to oblivion. Tax to oblivion just to reduce the income drop per turn. We need to hold off for four turns to take Madrid. Five turns to take Madrid. Then, when that happens, I'll remove my ship from my port in... Ooh. 
I mean, I'm going to fight it because I want to minimise losses. <laughs> I would auto-resolve it, but I really, really, really want to minimise the amount of damage I'll take. probably do. With the one cavalry unit around on the flank, ready. This is pretty funky music. Continue. I think we may have technically have got away with this by losing one man. So it seems strange that the garrison didn't sally out. But I mean, I'll take it. The main thing with the Madrid garrison is I do not want to meet them in battle with their mortars behind walls. <laughs> Damn right it was heroic. <laughs> this has been... yeah, we managed to kill them for one loss. Do you think that would have worked in the, uh, in the fort? I don't think so. Okay, now let's do the real battle. do the real battle against the garrison but my hope is because they've got lots of artillery I can take advantage of my big cavalry advantage to knock them out but then again their mortars might deploy in the walls in which case they'll be trapped and they will abandon their guns and come and say hello so I want to deploy up on this hill I don't want to do anything that comes across as potentially risky. I'm going to leave them there because they are hidden. To be honest, I'm actually tempted to try and hide my cavalry elsewhere. Although I think... I mean, that is optimistic, trying to hide them there. Maybe in here as well. There we go. So all my cavalry's hidden. This was in case they deployed too close. So their artillery, their mortars, are not firing, crucially. Oh no, there's some mortars. Okay. Push these guys... down the hill your job men is to break that position there is serious risk they will then be engaged yep they are pull these guys back and expend two units on this endeavour. One of you needs to act as a decoy for that unit. Another one of you get into position. So yeah, they've already lost a bunch of men already. So let's send these guys out. Just focus on the field artillery. These guys are going to be very... I don't know what they're doing. 
They're only routing. I'm ru I sped it up because I did not want to witness it. Yeah, so they are still... They are still around. But we're actually going to find the... The limits of their firing range. Which means we can build that much more of a stronger line in attempting to beat them. Because they have sallied, so we have no desire to push out. Yeah, so they engage. Their max engagement is here. And I may even... That's a lot that is closer than I feared. Okay, so this is their provincial cav. So let's run their run my pikes down onto this flank. Do you have our cavalry? Which I may actually spring into action. So you do have lots more junk infantry coming around on the flank. Let's just bring this cavalry back somewhere a bit safer. The mortars luckily didn't go and re-equip their guns. We should get a good opportunity to chew up this infantry unit while they charge, while they advance to our position. Because they're not in position, we got a whole bunch of guns. Garrison militia coming. I'm curious if these guys are a good idea. Probably not. Can you guys? get into this combat. I want my supporting wing ready to take up positions. Let's break off one unit to attack this militia. Good. Try and make them waver. So I've got my men. My line is formed, ready against their reinforcing units. Massive garrison retreat, but I do not want to send my troops forward. Stretch you guys out a lot more to get more support. At some point we'll have to fall this line back because their mortars are happy to sit there and carry on doing what they're doing because we are close enough for them to feel like they can shoot us. So... We need to pull back. I managed to make one of our units route but they will probably come back. This is a unit of Irish Brigade. Yep, they're, we're in range of their mortars here. So 
pull back, but let's spend some cavalry chasing them down. spend too much effort trying to destroy their cavalry, their um, elite infantry. Damaging them enough will be good enough for me. The militia did come back, so place them somewhere like here. Run my cavalry away, preferably somewhere towards my pikes. Guerrilla mercenaries on the right. So let's engage my general. Let's go take them out. Regiment of horse is broken. I can't remember if it's can't work if that's from artillery or just from being engaged. But that's okay. I prefer if they didn't rout, but no. But no, the, the mercenaries are broken. Good lads. Fortunately, now their mortars are working against them because their troops are advancing up in the main field of fire. Keep my point secure. Let's run my weaker unit forward into the danger zone once more. Go hit the Irish Brigade. A lot of dead men. Okay, now run through and chase down, because this unit's pretty weak. Well, no, they're at two-thirds strength, but let's use them to chase down units behind their lines. The militias came... The, the um, irregulars have come back. Let's bring my general in. Use my cavalry to engage their general's bodyguard. Because that would be quite a good win. I could end up losing my general. Their general's routing because of friendly fire. So keep chasing them down. My general is going to eviscerate those mercenaries. Good. My cavalry can chase down theirs. Come on, then, you irregulars. Good. Killed their general. Mission accomplished. Accomplished. Go take out this unit of artillery then, it's demi cannons. My general can come back before he dies. Mm. Actually, yeah, probably just want to run these guys past the artillery completely, it looks like. So the Heratelu is trying to get inside the fort. So let's deploy our cavalry. In an intelligent way. Knowing that we are safe from their mortars now. Good. Kill the crew. Killing the crew would be a good first win. But I will also accept. There we go. We've bumped into the next unit. Let's dispatch 
my general down to chase down some retreating units. Is that the dead general's bodyguard? Chase down that unit of line infantry. My cavalry to just attack theirs, because I think this unit's. Yeah, this is the general's unit that's reformed. Aha! You. Attack this routing mortar unit. It's just ceasefire, I guess. Yeah, you'll have a grand old time over here because a bunch of actual infantry units to kill. Chemo's bodyguard's dying. You definitely want to kill the mortars. I mean, militia isn't a massive target for us, but we'll take kills. Now you go after this demi cannon unit. Don't really care about the general because the general's dead. Just kill, kill that last set of guns. It's probably bugged out though. It's probably why it's all gone a bit wrong. Remind, there is someone still about, still kicking. So. I'm happy that they've not ended the battle yet because I suspect they can't kill that they can't kill that unit in the centre so Irish Brigade, there they are I mean I should bring my pikes in to kill them if everyone else find someone else to kill it is peculiar that the battle hasn't ended yet but we're going to continue but this could be problematic because of that unit stuck on the uh, on the wall you no don't worry my general is the only one anywhere near this unit of militia Who's over here? Demi cannons. There's their crew. Well, there's some of their crew anyway. Okay, let's climb the walls. Climb the walls to go secure. To secure a way into the city to help kill this last gun team. It looks like they're pretty bugged out. Everyone else is done. Unless these guys have crew somewhere. But I'm pretty sure this might be a shoot him with guns job. So we do just need to get people into the fort. building captured but that's not it unless these guys do have some troops on the board somewhere but I don't know where they are they've got one man I've tried to set my cavalry to attack but no one is 
So I suspect we will have to do this by firing squad. But let's do this. Form up. Spin around. Ah, General's bodyguard! Oh god! <laughs> oh god, that could have gone really badly wrong, couldn't it? Damn! They've been destroyed. Now, depending on how many mortars they've got, that really influences how I'm going to proceed. So if we don't have mortars, it's tempting to attack. We've lost trade. So we are negative five. We're flat. It's pretty good. Man, they've got barely an army left. I don't know why I was trying to... I was thinking about replenishing my entire army. That would be foolish. Let's try to top off as many units as we can. But because they've got some mortars, it makes me a bit cagey. Just because we've seen how well your troops just fold completely. So, I am gambling a lot. What's going to force my hand is if Britain lands their army on Malta. If they land, I have to attack Madrid. Because I can't... I need a capital. If I don't have a capital, if I don't have one territory, I lose. So, I need... Fortunately, because I'm occupying the port, they can't take it in one turn. They will land, and then they will... Then the end of the turn will happen, and then I will continue to... I will, think, I will then have a chance to respond and assault. But until then, I want to play it so cagey. So, so cagey. Because I've got that window of opportunity. I've got the window of opportunity to save myself if something goes horribly wrong. I feel okay. I think I, should, I will probably, well I will, get rid of my horrible policies. And this will be an hour special because it's a restart. So I'm not going to fob you guys off and say, oh, we're done. Um, I suspect we have one more battle in us. Yep, so the Barbary State's still at it. It's one of our ministers has a mistress. Yep, just let them let them wander around. Don't do anything that will cause us problems. Could probably, if I do you that, I could spend cash on replenishing one single unit. Two turns until for them it's Sally or die. Well, selling again. So it's going to be the same again. Deploy one out of the way. Let them come to us and push them back. Because right now we are on a. We are walking at a, a tightrope made of fishing wire here. That's. Ugh. Every single, you know, it's like if I roll a six, we die. And every turn I'm just rolling the dice. Although I am feeling a lot better about my position now. We absolutely gutted their army. And the reason why I want my army to be strong is because I'm probably going to have Spanish troops I need to chase down in my borders. Poor souls. These guys may deploy up threat of them, deploying spikes. This bit of militia can hold the flank. I just want them to come at me now, so I want to keep all my manoeuvre elements up out of the way. Although that's backfired to a certain degree, because they deployed up and at us.
So just kick all the elements of my battle plan into action. Charge into them. Push up. That's all we can do. Putting up some spikes to be a nuisance. Bash into the mortars with one unit of cavalry. Let's bring these guys around the rear to at least give us opportunities to advance my infantry into position. They fire backwards because that wasn't us. We haven't got any artillery. Take their general. Push my cavalry through. Yeah, they are firing backwards because now my infantry is in a position to open up. Too bad they didn't get to kill, didn't get a volley into that militia unit. But don't chase after them. My cavalry here is attacking me. Uh, you know, they garrison the mortars. So just kill them. You guys are deployed the wrong way. Just keep the job of my cavalry. Is to sit here, wait for Spanish troops to retreat over the hill, and kill them. They're fine, I don't care about them. Well, I don't know. Mono, to be honest, I think will probably survive. So I don't necessarily need to kill their mortars, I just need to kill them. The weak unit can chase them down, you can chase them. Yes, we do want to continue. For all of you, stop firing. Weak unit, yeah, so they're going to go chase down the remnants of this garrison militia unit. Everyone else, kill them. Obviously, without running backwards onto these spikes. They can run this way. Have killed the enemy general unit, or the enemy general. down an advance unit. My general can take care of them. Just leapfrog my cavalry ahead. Come on, everyone's having a grand old time with the Spanish there. One last chap. Just set my, my cavalry to chase someone else down, but I doubt they'll make it there. Let's 
triple speed it. Because they will probably route. This guy will not. And neither will these guys. Off you go. Close fruit tree. That wasn't close. It was a bit weird, I must admit. I was expecting... Uh, was expecting them to deploy so far up. And we have a new home! Huzzah! So, we want to dispatch forces south to secure Gibraltar and protect our empire from Britain. And we also want to start to increase relations with countries like Portugal. Portugal could end up declaring war on us, it's more than likely they will, because we are a big enemy Catholic nation right on their borders, that we've well, we've, we've attacked and killed their neighbour. Understandably, they may be a bit concerned. It's diplomacy. France. We can't trade with France, that's unfortunate. What about Portugal itself? I don't think Portugal's a major, isn't it? Can't trade with Portugal either. It's tempting to trade with to trade with Louisiana. Then again, we get a lot more trade ports because we've got more options open. So let's trade with the Marathas. Oh no, this is just Brit. This is just Britain abandoning, not abandoning us, but you know. Okay, let's crank the policies down. So Madrid is still not very happy with us. Especially as we are not able to build anything to make them happy. But let's send a band of units to go down and attack Cartagena. Just to take out the Spanish troops. Don't rebuild the port. If I exempt you from taxes, that helps a bit, but doesn't really solve the problem. We don't want to get rid of their clamour for reform. Diplomacy. Britain. Peace. So we don't want to exempt them from tax because we need this money, as little as it is. Effectively, we need them to rebel and then we need to beat them. I don't see there being any way around it myself. We're only unfriendly, so we could try get peace. But I don't really want to. Genoa. So, let's try to do some research. Obviously we don't do any, any physiocracy stuff. Because that will really wind them up. Okay, let's start to get things like plug bayonet but if we destroy the church school that will reduce their religious happiness so we probably might want to build the coaching in up here in fact if I could stop punishing you I'd probably do that but we not it's our trade with the Okay, let's hit in turn. It's more than likely, well, it, it will be inevitable that we have a Spanish rebellion. Maybe even two. But that will be manageable. We can beat them and then we can, we'll have a secure front well <laughs> aspirationally we've thought this before let's just hope the barbary states can keep genoa occupied it looks like they're gonna give it a damn good go so we are now officially bankrupt and will be bankrupt Signore. so let's take oh not that Let's take all our armies back to Spain. 
let's do some replenishment. Let's probably get rid of our militia. Can't exempt them from tax. Probably gonna have to knock off a few more ships. We can't go bankrupt, but annoyingly we know that we know that the someone will clear their port out. So 400 is probably... Because we're in walls, I don't need this cavalry. 300 is these two guys, which unfortunately makes our public order problem worse. But, oh, France has declared on us. So we're going to have a French stack coming down from Spain. It's unfortunate, but there we are. I could probably reduce my policies to try and make people a bit happier. Fortunately, it's the Italian states that are being ballers for us. To be honest, I could probably move my navy back from Cartagena back to my capital in order to help out. Because I haven't got the cash to... Well, I will do now. I'll have the cash to rebuild my government building and my happiness building. Spain is in rebellion. It's not a great rebellion. Regimental de Sevilla have infantry of accuracy 40. Okay, I can't rebuild the Royal Palace. Let's rebuild the Opera House. So there's immediately taken them from plus 16 down to minus 9. But I don't think we can realistically do anything else. Oh, yeah, we lost our navy, didn't we? <laughs> See if I can send this captured galley on some raiding ops to hopefully buy us another turn without income problems. Although it looks like the Brits are just going to sail their army over here and attack me instead. So let's try and promote peace with France, but that's not going to work. Peace with Spain? No, nope. fair enough. Peace with Britain? No. Nope. Hopefully next turn we'll be able to rebuild the Opera House. And I may spend this... I can't build any troops, can I? Because I've not got... Because these things are all broken. Let's rebuild the barracks. They're probably going to raid, which will be frustrating, but it's a public order problem. We've got first and foremost. Good. They've not sent their army to come and attack me in Madrid. There's probably a French army coming after us. But I'm happy that we've got a somewhat manageable public order problem. I could build a happiness building up on the French border, but I'm concerned they will immediately raid it. So I don't want to spend money to solve my problem in a place so easily disrupted by enemy forces. That would be very, very bad. Yep, let the rebels rebel. Slowly slowly cheering people up. Let's rebuild the Royal Palace. And let's build... I don't know. I can't upgrade this coaching in. Oh, they've rebelled in the school, which is okay. I could build the Jesuit College for some cheap religious happiness in future. So I'm okay with them raiding. It's getting, it's solving this problem. That's my main concern. Let's repair the port and see if we see if we can keep hold of it, actually. Okay. So we're positive. At least we've not seen a French army coming. They're probably building it. 
but at least they're not on their way now. That would be a major problem. So they can start chipping away at our income because of the raids, but what are we going to do? We can't leave the capital unguarded because then the rebellion gets stronger. Yes, clear off Barbary states. Good lads. So the rebels are... Oh, damn it, they've managed to break my happiness building. But look, soon we will be level pegging. Soon. Oh, let's build the Grand Opera House. Good. And let's... We can't rebuild that. Let's rebuild the farm because it's cheap. I could just try build it. So unfortunately broke this, but I don't want to build anything down here. Definitely don't upgrade the infrastructure. Speed up the raiding. Good. Although that's probably a policy problem I can solve. There you go. They're immediately now not happy. Well, not unhappy. If I move these guys out, they will immediately become very unhappy. So this is still a problem that we solve by having the garrison. Well, not solve, but, you know, oh, I should have done some raiding with my galley in Malta. Would have been a good idea. Because we're probably going to get blockaded by the Barbary States. Don't do it, Portugal. Don't, don't you do it. I see you. Good. Good. And the rebels seem to be happy to see Cadiz. And I'm happy for them to be there as well. Let's repair the school. Let's probably save up to upgrade this coaching into a bawdy house. Because we need to start getting this... We'd start them, start to get them being happy again without having troops. Although, technically, that's already happened. Two turns is not enough for them to be rebellious, but probably be happier, giving them an extra turn. Let's probably build... Let's rebuild this, if they don't want to run around raiding. Maybe... Although, that, repairing this doesn't really help us, because we don't have... What does it? I suppose it does. We don't. You don't need research to build artillery foundries. Let's get the school rebuilding. Let's hit end turn. Because we could. Well, we're probably going to need to send an army south to go take Gibraltar. Kill the pirates. We've got a good chance. Yeah, Portugal's definitely building an army to come and kill us. Well, again, I should have done raiding raiding from my galley. But it looks like the Barbary States are actually going to look at... Pfft, as soon as I say that, obviously. Yeah, we still get a little bit of income, though. Although they're now... Oh, it's because I rebuilt the school, isn't it? Oh well. I'd rather rebuild the school and keep my technology going. Um, so let's bash out another end turn again, because we can't do anything about you. If Britain took Malta, that would save a lot of my problems, because Madrid would become my capital, and it's that much more defensible. Ah. Uh. But I'm feeling a lot better about this start than my previous starts. But then again, I felt that way initially. <laughs> Fighting in North Africa and again in Northern Italy. But at least we've got the good old Italian states are on our side. They're defending our ports. Well, they're temporarily defending our ports. The swines, be more effective. 
Probably doesn't help. We've killed the Spanish. But yeah, just, let's just assume that they will be blockaded permanently. You're still unhappy, but next turn, the Grand Opera House will be built, which will grow, which will cancel out actually that problem, and then the resistance to foreign occupation will go down. This happiness building will be built. Tentatively rebuild the church school because they're not they're not raiding anymore. They're just sat there. Let's build another line infantry. Actually, let's build, let's build two cannons. And in one turn, we've got bayonets. Then we'll research canister shot. And then we'll be off. Although I do need to lean heavily into the naval research to build a strong navy. Unless I did something like attack Portugal, which, considering I'm already at war with Britain, wouldn't be a massive problem. Because normally the main problem about attacking Portugal is there's normally some diplomatic problems because you're because they're alliance with Britain. <gasps> I'm at war with Genoa, but they've decided not to attack my port. But the Barbary states are going to go and attack the Genoan port. <laughs> oh, yes. Plug bayonets. It's a start. Canister shot. Take five turns. We've got you guys to chill out. Two turns till we get the guns. But we do need to build a better army to march south, which might have mercenaries as part of it. Although, no. They're more expensive to buy. They have more ammo. They're a bit better in melee combat. But I'd rather have infantry. So you've built the Grand Opera House and they've relaxed. I'm reluctant to build up here still. Let's build a Jesuit college. I'm going to destroy the Jesuit college in at some point. Um, because it's not worth our... It's not worth it for this region. I mean, it's worth it now because it gets us this temporarily religious happiness boost. But I do want to get rid of it in future. But looking at the timer, we've definitely, well, definitely slightly gone over the time limit on this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And hopefully you feel a lot more positive about this one because I do. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing painful adventures of St. John. Cheers, everyone. Or the Knights of St. John. <laughs>